Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Harun Sahnoun. Today we will start our electronic repair course for beginners. As I said before, you don't need a prior knowledge in electronics to engage in this course. We will only learn some basics which will help us start do some repairs. We will not study electronics on a professional level. We don't need that much knowledge in motherboard repair. So be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified of our next video. Good, now let's begin. Lesson number one. Electricity is the flow of electric current along a conductor. This electric current takes the form of free electrons that transfer from one atom to the next. Thus, the more free electrons a material has, the better it conducts. There are three primary electrical parameters, the volt, the ampere, and the ohm. Types of electric flow. Electricity flows in two ways, either in an alternating current, AC, or in a direct current, DC. The difference between AC and DC lies in the direction in which the electrons flow. In DC, the electrons flow steadily in a single direction or forward. In AC, electrons keep switching direction, sometimes going forward and then going backward. Voltage and amperage are two measures of electrical current or flow of electrons. Voltage is a measure of the pressure that allows electrons to flow and its symbol is V, while amperage is the measure of the volume of electrons and its symbol is I. Although the physics are complicated, some experts use the analogy of a flowing river to explain the principles of electricity. In this analogy, voltage is equated with the steepness or pitch of the river, while amperage is equated with the volume of water in the river. An electrical current with high voltage but a very low amperage can be seen as a very narrow small river, flowing nearly vertical, like a tiny trickle of a waterfall. It would have a little potential to really hurt you, but a large river with a lot of water amperage can drown you even if the speed of the flow is relatively slow. Of the two, amperage is what really creates the risk of death, which becomes clear when you understand just how a little amperage is necessary to kill. The electrical resistance of an electrical conductor is a measure of the difficulty of passing an electric current through a substance. With more resistance in a circuit, less electricity will flow through the circuit. R is the resistance of the object, measured in ohms.